It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants on Thursday night. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team to... The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Prescott. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Throwing. Prescott. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. Throwing on second and long. Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. It was Osa Odigizawa on the tackle. Now second and nine. Now Jones. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. No score after one on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. This now a third and four. As they've got it as we resume action. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. It's now fourth down. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Off the play fake, Prescott. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. On the counter, Elliott. 
And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Prescott down. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. On is the punter, Brian Ager, to kick this one away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. That's taken on the 25. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Throwing Jones. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. Loose inside the 30, inside the 10. Touchdown, Giants! Devin Singletary, 62 yards. And the Giants post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And a long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And now here come the Cowboys. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. To throw is Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This second and four. Now Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Prescott. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Prescott to throw it. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Taken in at the 11. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And they may be content to take this 7-0 lead into the locker room. We'll see. That's caught left side by Neighbors. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. 
Back to throw. Jones. That is caught. He's got a first and maybe more. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Jalen Hyatt in the final seconds of the first half. And the Giants will extend their lead here just before halftime. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms, and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And able to get this out to the 25. The Giants offense set to begin this third quarter. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete. It's Neighbors. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. From the gun on third down, Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Off play action, Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 22 yard line. Off the bootleg, Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Malik Neighbors, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's Prescott. Steps away to his left. It's a loss of 11 on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and very long. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. 
He lost two, and it brings up fourth. I'm not sure how much I really love that call. It almost seems like a little bit of a give up there. But maybe what they were thinking is, we've got a chance to pop one. They think we're just going to give up here, hand it to the big man, and maybe he can get through. Sometimes there's a little bit of courage in play calling that maybe we don't give enough credit. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape. First and 10. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. Now is second and 10. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, they go with Singletary. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Joseph's got it. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And the decision to bring it out, kind of a costly one, as he won't make it back to the 20. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Isaiah Simmons getting by the offensive line and dropping the quarterback. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. On the give, this is their fullback. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. handoff on the option to Singletary and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage the Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play they go right back to Singletary and he'll get it down on the play to the 37 Here is third down and four. Looking to throw. Jones able to find the open man. That's complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. 
And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone that offense knows. Oh, Prescott stripped. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. And they're going to sack him yet again. The pass rush has been relentless. This time, it yields a safety. Well, this defense has been smothering all game long. Why not give them two more points here in the closing minutes? Well, they've certainly earned it. They've gotten the better of this offensive line for four quarters. And this sack here will just be a little icing on the cake. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Singletary again. And this play comes to a halt at the 33. And obviously that's well short of the first down. Jamie Gillen in punt formation for the Giants. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from East Rutherford.